how to win an armor brigade. In today's video, I'm covering victory levels, points, objectives, as well as game modes. Victory levels are the tool that is used in armor brigade to determine the winner or the loser of a battle. Battles can end several different ways. They can end in a draw, tactical, defeat or victory, major defeat or victory, or total defeat and victory. If the player character or unit is eliminated, then the victory points are ignored and the battle will end in defeat. Several scenarios use player characters, so it's important to understand how they affect the outcome as well. Now you're asking yourself, what affects victory levels and how do I maximize and use this knowledge? Well, there are a few things you need to understand about victory points. Victory points are determined by the size of the battle location and the force that the players will be using, i.e. infantry, armored, and mechanized. Next, there are a lot of obscurities and unknowns when it comes to victory points, and they are listed. We don't know how many points objectives are worth. We don't know how many points casualties are worth. We don't know the rate of which points decrease over time and we don't know how many points controversial objectives are worth. Now, what we do know is that victory points are influenced by casualties, objectives, and they steadily decrease over time. The last one is up to interpretation because it's never fully stated in the manual, but it makes sense as you are provided more victory points when using a slower force that needs to traverse larger distances over the map which further begs the question, that is, how much are casualties worth? So how do we win? Well, that is easy. You win Armor Brigade by reducing your opponent's victory points to zero. However, the rate at which your victory points decrease varies from game mode to game mode, and certain aspects of that game mode causes your victory points to decrease more rapidly than others. I will include more information about this in the game modes section. Now it's time to talk about objectives as they are primarily what you'll be fighting over. Objectives in Armor Brigade are represented by squares. Next, they can be assigned to strategic locations and resources. Doing this is going to increase the immersion for both yourself as well as other players. Objectives are neutral, player controlled, opponent controlled, controversial, and dummy. There are several takeaways when talking about objectives. Ob you cannot tell when the enemy captures or controls an objective. Controversial objectives were once owned by a defender who lost it and then recaptured it. Dummy, dummy objectives, which do not contribute victory points. Unfortunately, players cannot tell the difference between a dummy objective or a normal objective, so it's important to array your forces appropriately and treat all objectives as if they're not dummy objectives. Objectives play a big role in victory points, but we do not know how many points they provide the player. So it's hard to balance between capturing objectives and managing your casualties. Now it's time to move on into the game modes. Throughout this video, you've been seeing text pop up on each individual clip. It was attack, defend, and meeting engagement. Those are the three modes that are within Armored Brigade. Game modes also affect how many victory points players earn, how the objectives affect their victory points, and how casualties also affect victory. At the beginning of this video, you saw me zoom in on a red and a green bar. That is your overall victory level. Now we're going to break down each game mode because each one affects victory points differently. Attack, you are an attacker and you attack a defender who is defending objectives as well as terrain. Defend is where you defend an objective and you fight off an attacker. Meeting engagement is where two parties conduct combat operations against each other while trying to secure neutral objectives. The biggest takeaway here is that the defending side is always going to have 50% less victory points than the attacking. We also know that recaptured objectives will count for less victory points and they will be considered controversial. Defenders, however, do have the ability to dig in, deploy mines, and build fortifications. 
and meeting engagements, casualties affect the scoring by more than 50%. Now for someone who plays a lot of meeting engagements, that's really critical to understand that when you lose casualties or sustain casualties in a meeting engagement, it has a plus 50% modifier. So it's important to manage your casualties as well as secure the objective. Personally, I believe this adds a lot of tactical depth that I didn't initially know about. And I don't think a lot of people know about these certain quirks or mechanics that are within Armored Brigade. Now that you have a basic understanding of how objectives, game modes, and victory points are used, I'm going to show you a mechanic that's going to blow your mind and how you change and look at victory levels. There is actually a fog of war mechanic assigned to the victory levels bar. The bar is not 100% accurate representation of the current battle. You, as a player, do not know how many of the enemy you have eliminated. You also don't know how many of the enemy has captured an objective. This further adds a lot of tactical depth to armor. Throughout this clip, you saw me adjust armored, infantry, mechanized, and dynamic characteristics. In this example, we selected the largest size battlefield you can have, and it defaulted our infantry victory points to 82,000. Earlier, you saw me select armored and mechanized. Depending on the size of the map, the victory points were adjusted anywhere between 1,000 all the way up to 23,000. And now our victory points are at 80,000. It's important to understand that victory points do decrease over time or your victory level. As you can see in this battle, it's absolutely massive, but it's primarily infantry based. I wanted to show this example because it what leads me to believe that victory levels slowly decrease over time. As you see, these infantry units are going to take a significant amount of time to move across the battlefield. That means you need a large pool of victory points or victory level to pull from. So that with the reduced lethality and longer travel times leads me to believe that the victory levels do reduce over time. However, I could be mistaken. It's never explicitly stated in the manual. But as we discussed earlier, there are a lot of things that are not explicitly stated in the manual. I'm going to post this write-up and future write-ups in the community tab, so make sure you turn notifications on by hitting the bell, subscribe, or if you're feeling friendly, hit that join button. I will post after actions, updates, and other fictional stories to both my Patreon as well as my community tab. All of them are completely free, and I hope you enjoy the future content. And I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you want to see more in-depth Armor Brigade guides, obviously watch the video. And that's how I determine if I'm going to make these or not. They're some of the better performing videos. And if you are a strategy gamer and haven't checked out Armor Brigade, it's currently on sale on Steam right now. And it does have a surprisingly like large following. Just a lot of YouTubers are not following this game. And I really wanted to put that out there because this is a really good game. It does have a following. And I'm surprised there are not more videos of it. Lastly, have a wonderful day. Peace out, guys.